There's a handful of ways to manage your Edpuzzle lesson content. We're going to first talk about organization. The first part is let's go to my content, and this is where you can start organizing your video lessons that you've created. Here are all my video lessons that I have here. Um, I can multiple click, and so I can select multiple videos at the same time. And if I wanted to, I could move them into a folder. Um, I can assign all four of them that I've selected at once. Um, this is if you're not using Schoology, of course, or Google Classroom. Um, I can unselect them, and then I can delete them uh, if I wanted to. I'm going to unselect them uh, at this point here. Once I select an individual item, I do have um, a set of options here. So I'm going to select this one here, this Constitution Ed Puzzle. Um, I can duplicate it if I want to. So maybe I want to you know, have a couple different versions of the same video, but I want to add maybe different questions, or maybe I want to differentiate my curriculum. So I want to make a duplicate of this and assign it to a different portion of the class or a different class altogether. Additionally, um, I can uh, delete individually as well. I can go ahead and edit if I want to at this point. Additionally, you'll really notice that sometimes you may assign an Edpuzzle to your students and you're like, oh, shoot, I got a, you know, I made a mistake. I need to, there's a typo in one of the questions or maybe one of the questions are wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one, for example. I can go ahead and um, click this here. And I notice that I get a, a, a prompt down here that says edit assigned video. So you can edit a video after it was assigned. The caveats to that are that if you look here, any edits you make here will be applied to all of the assigned classes. So wherever this Edpuzzle is assigned, the video will be changed, uh, which is good. Now, lastly, what we can do is we can make what are called folders. And so we can start folderizing our Edpuzzle content just like we can with our Google Drive and just like we can uh, within our Schoology courses. We're going to go ahead and click Add Content in the top right, and we can um, add a new folder. So I'll just title this sample folder. Maybe I'll give it a description. Maybe this is going to be for period six. I'm going to go ahead and save my folder. Now, at this point, what I can do to move my videos in there is you can't drag and drop them in there. But let's say that I want to move uh, these two videos here and I want to move them to my sample folder. I can go ahead and do that by uh, check marking them and then selecting move to folder. And then I can select my sample folder. I'm going to go ahead and move them in there. I notice that they move from this area here. Once I click my sample folder, I can find them inside here. I can click them again, and let's say that I want to move this one outside. I can go ahead and click it, and if I want to move it out of the folder back into my general content area, I can select it, and then I can uh, go ahead and move it, and I can click back, and I'm going to select My Content, which will take it to that My Content dashboard, and I'm going to go ahead and click Move Folder at that point. It'll take it out of the sample folder, and it will put it back here into my general space. I can create folders inside of folders. So if I go inside of my sample folder and I want to create a new folder, I would go ahead and click Add Content, and I would make a new folder. Here's my second folder. Go ahead and give it you know, some sort of description. Save my folder. And now when I go into, let's go back to my content, and I go to sample folder, I have sample folder number two within that. And then here's my video that's in sample folder. So you can go as far as you want in organizing uh, your Edpuzzle videos here. Another way that you can organize your Edpuzzle videos is by sorting them uh, either by date, by name, or by duration. And another way to organize them is to change the visibility of them. So if you want to make them public or private. When you click Edpuzzle under popular channels, you'll notice that these are Edpuzzles that have been created by other people across the United States who are also using Edpuzzle. They've chosen to make these videos public. If you go to your profile settings, when you click the top right and go to your name, and if you go to settings, you have the option to make your videos public or private. You can't select individual options. It's kind of one or all, right? It's either you either make them all public or you make them all private. Those are kind of the options you have there. I would encourage you to make yours public so that they can be shareable within the GUHSD network. But as we remember, when we go to the content tab, uh, this Grossmont Union High School District tab has tons of Edpuzzles by Grossmont Union High School District teachers that you can search for. So it's great for collaboration.